prohibition doesn't work as well as regulation and control, and al allow the money for drug treatment, hold people accountable for their actions, we're going to make progress. So when we ask the question, now we've changed to that program, how many people feel we're better off in California or wherever else than we were before we changed? And people start raising their hands. So I'm going to leave you with a story. A man was on his deathbed, very end of his life, called his wife to his side and said, well, dear, I know I'm not long for this earth, but before I leave you, I just have to get something off my chest. And for numbers of years now, I've been having an affair with such and such a woman that lives around the block. And I don't, again, I don't mean to hurt your feelings, but I think you had a right to hear this and hear it from me. She looked at him. She thought for a moment. Then she said, that's okay. I know. That's why I poisoned you. <laughs> well, in a similar way, we have poisoned ourselves because of our chosen drug policy. We have no concept of why we put it into place. We have almost no concept of the harms that it itself is visiting upon us and our people. In fact, I can go on and tell you individual stories that just, just don't work. Mandatory minimum sentencing and, and mothers and their children and all the rest of this stuff. I see that in our court all the time, in juvenile court, in probate court, certainly in criminal and civil. There's got to be a better way. There is a better way. Let's all work to find it. And a good place to start will be this coming November. Because when we finally treat marijuana like alcohol, I'm convinced that the Obama administration, which, by the way, honored the concept of federalism with regard to medical marijuana, where, of course, the supposedly conservative George W. Bush administration ignored it. The very liberal Obama administration honored it. Figure that one out. But it's working. So they said, as long as you are within state and local law, the federal government's not going to harass you, not going to investigate you or prosecute you. And the same thing's going to happen when we finally pass this initiative in November. Probably the Obama administration would come out and say, you know, you were duped, and really it's stupid, and it's silly, and it isn't going to work, but we're going to let you show that. And then it is going to work. It is going to be better, certainly less harmful, and other states are going to start following us along. This is the beginning of the end of drug prohibition. And of course, if you don't think the prison guards union knows that, you better look again. We need you. We need your thoughts. We need your activity. So I appreciate the opportunity to speak with you. I'll be the last one out the door. If you have other questions, I'd be happy to talk with you. You have your group called Students for a Sensible Drug Policy. These groups are important. You know, whatever your issues are, talk about them. Be involved with them. Learn about them. Give and take. And good luck to us all. Thank you so much. <laughs>